What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about the iOS 10.3.3 beta. Because yes, Apple has released the iOS 10.3.3 beta 1 for developers exactly a couple hours after the iOS 10.3.2 release. So you probably know a couple hours ago I made a video 16 hours ago about the iOS 10.3.2 finally be finally been released by Apple and um, a couple hours ago Mac Rumors posted on their um, Twitter account Apple seeds first beta of iOS 10.3.3 damn these guys are pretty damn fast now whatever happened with Apple I mean they had a, a very big delay of two weeks prior to releasing the iOS 10.3.2 but then, a couple hours later, they released iOS 10.3.3, which means they might have bugs that still need to be fixed, and they fixed them in the first beta of the iOS 10.3.3. Now, going ahead in here on an iPhone, whatever, you're going to see that iOS 10.3.3 beta is now seeded. It has this build number and this identifier in here. It also updates the baseband to 2. 17.00 and it was of course created 16 May 2017. You can download the IPSW in here but do not do that if you're waiting for a jailbreak. Now you probably know that I made in, in this video I made uh, yesterday I talked about the fact that the jailbreak might be in danger because iOS 10.3.1 was the only version that was actually targeted by Pango. Well, of course, there was iOS 10.3 as well, but iOS 10.3.2 wasn't in the, in the jailbreak schedule. Also, iOS 10.3.3 is definitely not in there. So the fact that Apple rushed to actually release the iOS 10.3.3 in a beta already a couple hours after the iOS 10.3.2 means that iOS 10.3.1 might not have a very long life left. Of course, this is my supposition. It can, of course, have a very big life if Apple decides that. But I suppose that Apple is going to close the signature window for the iOS 10.3.1 pretty quick after that. So again, I cannot stress this enough, go ahead and save your blogs. I do have the tutorials available in here. There is a tutorial on how to save them directly on your iPhone if you're already jailbroken. And uh, surprisingly enough, on this video that I made uh, 16 hours ago, I got quite a lot of questions about what people should do uh, if they're jailbroken already on iOS 10.1.1. Do not update if you're already jailbroken. We do not know if Pangu uh, is going to release their jailbreak. They didn't say that. They only uh, demoed that and we know that their jailbreak is definitely real and we know that their jailbreak is legit but we do not know if they're going to release it at some point because they didn't give any information out. So you should not go ahead and update the 10.3.1 if you're already jailbroken. I have uh, stressed that in this video and I'm going to stress that as well in this one. So go ahead, save your blobs, do not install iOS 10.3.3 beta 1. Of course it's a trap and Apple decided to you know, fix a little bit more bugs that could have been used in a jailbreak. And definitely the, um, you know, the lower you stay, the better chances you have to jailbreak in the future. So this is actually it guys. I really hope you understood and I really hope you're going to save your blobs because the time of the iOS 10.3.1 really seems to, to be uh, approaching an end now that iOS 10.3.3 is in beta. I'm going to keep you updated on anything that happens. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Subscribe to stay updated and peace out.